Some time ago, I bought this sort of plant stand table thing from Gummy Pan. Haven't got round to using it, so I thought I would today. So I've cut three, I cut out three and stacked them together. Now that brought me on to something that, um, a question that had been asked uh, recently um, about this. You may remember that I had said I fancied trying one of these, couldn't find one in this country, they were all sold out. And so Anne from New York State sent me this precision, a petunia, what do they call it? Precision something or other. It's a glue gun anyway, basically. It holds a pot, a pot of glue and there's a trigger to um, release it. I was asked what I thought of it. Well, if I am using it to say, for example, glue on a panel like this onto a card, perfect, absolutely perfect. I can go press it, comes out a treat, but if I am trying to do this, which is what I did do this morning, and put a very thin trail of glue onto a very narrow place, I find that holding an implement like this gives me far less control than holding one like this, as I would if I was using a brush or a pen or whatever else. So this way, I can control the flow onto very narrow um, pieces like this. I tried to do it with this one. I couldn't actually hold it still. I was jiggling about. So it, it's kind of horses for courses, really. I use different things for different jobs. And that's what I would do with this. If people have arthritis in their hands and can't squeeze or whatever, then probably this is a, a great advantage. And for large areas, I would think it would be great but for the job that it says, the precision part, I find that this is a personal opinion. I find it more difficult to control than I do this. I can keep this absolutely on the line. Whereas this one, I feel as if I'm... Do you see what I mean? I, I, can't, I'm I am actually trying hard to keep it straight, but I wobble. So that's just me. I don't know what other people have found, but I just thought I would pass on my experience. I know a lot of different people have done reviews of this product and, you know, think it's absolutely fabulous. But for my purposes, what I did, I, I found this one, um, or this one, for example, these much easier to control. So that's that. Now, on to my little card for today. I've got um, a card panel, a card base already. And my idea is I would have the the pot with its jardiniere or whatever it is on the top. I've got out various little pots that I could put on the top here. I don't know which one. I don't, I, I don't know what came with which. But I wanted some flowers to be in the pot. But I also fancied some traily things coming down. Now this die... I believe is the greetery. I think it's one that goes with one of those macrame plant holders, you know, that the suspended things. And I thought, I know it's too big, but I thought I could cut down bits of it to have a few traily bits coming down like this. I also got this, I took a whole bunch of stuff I don't use anymore up to the uh, charity shop in Waterlooville and met Sue. Um, and <laughs> while I was there, I bought this. I think this is a tattered lace, I'm not sure, but there's a dear little bit of ivy just there, which is this bit. So I thought that might be kind of okay. We'll see. But I'm going to sort of chop this up a bit as, as well, I think. So I've got a bit of greenery, a bit of a flower at the top, and a bit of traily stuff coming down. And I did think that for a wall either side I would have some brick like this. Now what I did with these some time ago was to draw a horizontal line across the back which is level with the line of the brick so that if I put it on 
to get um, a die like this, you know, the impression of a die like this, I will know how to how to um, orient it so that the bricks come out horizontal. Okay, so that's what I that was I was kind of thinking. So I think I may well start by just doing that. Now these are embossing dies. They're not cutting dies, so they will cut into the card, but they won't cut anything out. Okay, let me just see if I can tape these on. Make sure they're straight. What I did, I put uh, the, I put the, this way on behind a ru with a ruler behind like that, taped it, and then just drew a line. So that's how I managed to try and get the the horizontal line. Which way up do I want it? I think we'll have it about there. Okay. The little orchid. This is um, gummy pan, and these little containers are gummy pan. But as I say, this is gummy pan. But I think that is the greetery, and I think that that is tattered lace. I don't actually normally like tattered lace; it's too fussy for me. But I, I quite like that ivy. I don't like all the twiddles on tattered lace stuff in the ordinary way. Let's just see. So there's my wall. Let's put those back over there. And I, I fancy having that kind of like this with things coming over. I don't know whether to put any colour on that. I'll have, I'll have a think about it. Wait and see how we go. Right, I'm going to colour this. And it looks as if that little bit is not absolutely. It's probably because I was using that other thing and I couldn't control it too well. Okay. This little gizmo, this um, stopper, is so much more easy to put on than it is to, to aim aim a pin like this one. But both work. Look, see what I mean? Goodness me. There we go. Right, let me just colour this. Get a little piece of... And I think I'm going to use um, alcohol markers for this. I'm going to make it wood, so we'll have it various colours of brown. So I will start with this one. I think that my um, magic mat, that these things, I don't think it's quite as magic as it used to be. I found that this one didn't actually cut out properly. So I changed to one of the regular plates for my die cutting machine. I don't know if perhaps if I washed them or gave them a bit of a, a pep up, they might, they might be a little better. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, there's one bit of color. Of course, if you get any glue on the top side, the, the alcohol ink won't won't take as well. Right, let's have a bit of a darker one. Put a bit of this in places, round the back, round the side, underneath here, on the left hand side is where I normally put my shadows. Just go over the lot again with this one. I leave that to dry for a minute. What I think I may do if I want to get a bit of shine onto it is to rub a little 
distress glaze over it, micro distress glaze it's called. You just put a little on with your finger and then after, after a little while just buff it with a paper towel and you get a nice little sheen. So I might do that now. I think that's pretty much dry. Let's rub a bit of this onto it. Then I'll buff it with a paper towel presently. Right, now then, let's see what else we've got up here. I'll put that over there for a mo. So now we've got some of these flowers. Um, I think these are supposed to be orchids. And we've got these to colour and that to colour. So down come the greens. Let's have a variety of greens. Right, let's have those three. I'll, I'll choose a, a colour for the orchid in a moment. Just I'll just do the um, the foliage for the moment. And those who've seen me colouring before know that I don't take a lot of trouble. I just randomly put the bits of colour on and then blend. I think what I'll do with this one, because it's so large, I'll put the lightest colour all over it first and then add a bit of the other colours afterwards and then go over again. I don't know how much of this I'll use. I always say if you want to colour something like this, leave it in the piece of paper that it came out of and that will hold it a bit still. So that's a possibility. Let's just do a few of these. variegated leaves. against the white. I think they look quite nice. Right, let's do this one. With these Nouveau markers, I find I use the broad end much more than I ever did with Copics or anything like that. Uh, the tiny bit there, this was just a little bit that was hanging off the edge, but it might come in handy. if that is leaf or bud. I think it's bud. So I'll leave that for a bit. Okay, I think what I'll do with this one is just put a little colour just in the middle. What shall we use? Uh, wild thistle, do we fancy that? I think that might do. Okay. Now, let's see if we can start putting some of this together. I'm just going to give this a little buff for the tissue. Here's my front panel. Ah, 
and oh I haven't cut out a pot I don't know which pot we want I'll cut all three and then we can just see see what we like it's the same card same kind of card let's just cut some little pots and see I'd forgotten about that until the last moment and I just got them out before I turned the camera on Try to keep them safe. Which one do we think? I <laughs> fancy having this one with this. It's got a saucer on, it's going to protect the tabletop, isn't it? <laughs> Right, let's just put a bit of colour on this. I think we'll make this a terracotta -y kind of thing. So, what have we got for terracotta? Brown sugar, that will do. Right, let's see what we can do with this. I think first of all, just wondering if I need a bit of... Probably should have put that a bit higher. I'll stick this on. I think there's some everywhere. Right, there is our plant stand. I'll pop this on next. Okay. How about this chap? Where are we going to do that? Let's just see a minute. That's quite nice. Um, cut a little bit off of here. I need to change the colour a little bit because it's t the leaves are... These leaves are too like those leaves, aren't they? I need a different, a different green. That one's nice. And what else? Um, perhaps this one. Let me put this one on just on the edge there so the, the other plant could, will cover the top part of it. Kind of like that. This one can come down like that. Just need to hold these a minute really just to get the the glue to stick. The 
this chap. I'll be okay. Just a bit further up. That's it. Okay. Let's put some glue on this one. As long as this ivy is stuck down somewhere, I don't mind if it's like this hanging up. That's great. Look a bit more real, won't it? Okay. Now, where's my card front? Here it is, my card base. Now, what a sentiment. Well, I would like a sentiment going across here. Get well soon, thinking of you. Need a bit of... Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... Uh, a pencil, a watercolour pencil to add a little colour to the wall and a little bit of grounding for the whatever it is, the plant holder. Here are my watercolour. Oh, I've got the right colour as well. It's a bit of luck. I um, just want a sort of a gray, warmish grey. Perhaps this one, a bit darker. That's a dark one. Okay. Let's try this. It would be easy to cut this um, brick out because it's 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 cut a lot of the way, but then joined in odd places. You need to snip those joins, and uh, it would be take out I think that's okay. I am going to just wet this one for the, for the the wall, but I'm not going to wet. I don't think I'm going to wet the one at the bottom. So I just have a little drop of water in here. decided to do it there we go okay I think that's kind of going to do so we'll put this onto the card front and what will we have for a sentiment I am going to use some foam tape um, I have got I don't know if you can see the difference between these this one I like and this one comes from sticks to anything. This one, I'm not keen of on. It's quite thick. Can you see the thickness of that compared to the thickness of this? Do you see? So this makes a huge raising up. And I could use two of these to one of those probably. And what I'm concerned about is the thickness of a card because of the rules in this country 
for posting. So if a, if a card won't fit through this specific slot, then you pay extra postage. So that's why I like to keep it um, not too fat. So this one from Sticks to Anything is lovely. I saw I saw some going very cheaply at um, a craft fair and I thought, oh great, I'll get some of that. But it was too thick. It was probably when, where I got something like that from. Oh, there's a little bit. I could stick that on perhaps. We'll see. Right. I think this might be, um, I don't know, get well soon or something. Thinking of you. Let's just see. Take the Mac off. Just put a bit of glue over and I'm going to put a bit of tape over there because it looks like some of those are getting a little bit close to being coming out. So I'll put a little bit on there as well, just to make sure they stay there. Okay, here's my card front. Crumbs kind of found the way in. There we are. There we go. It's quite pretty. Um, I will find a sentiment and see what I want to do about putting it on. Does we do we need this bit? I don't think so. I want to see a bit of the pot. Okay, there's another one. Another one bites the dust. Um, have fun. Enjoy your day. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.